So we got hole six here up on the screen, and it's 333 feet. Shout out to the people earlier who saw this, uh, my, my little mishap there. But this is another one of those holes. I absolutely love this one because it's 333 feet. It's a, it plays a little bit downhill, and uh, I can reach it at, at three at 300. So I, I love it because it's like a, a over 300 foot hole that I can reach and and not have to uh, not have to do like a whole flex. You know what I mean? Because it plays yeah. downhill, so I can take like for instance, I didn't think to look was in my hand there, but you were throwing that peca peca, right? Is that what it was? I can't tell. Let me look at it again here. If it was that special stamped like Pekka Pekka or not, I couldn't tell. It's, uh, you're correct. Wow, I just completely lied. Apparently, I guess I do have to throw <laughs> a full flex to get there. But no, but no, I feel like I can take something like a like a Kahu. Maybe my arm was weak that day or something. You know? <laughs> I told you. Did, did we not talk about the comfortability with that disc earlier? Calm down, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's but, cracking up. <laughs> But no, I feel like I can throw like a Kahu Katara, one of the flippy run Katares, and just hammer it straight and let the disc do the work at the end. So does that hole finish left slightly? It, it finishes right. Finishes right. So near that yeah. gray pole thing I was talking about, past it? Uh, let me bring it back up here. It's lagging a little bit on my end here when I'm putting the picture up, so it takes me a few seconds. To look there's at like it a here, gray but. thing out there you can see that's like just to the right of your head out there and then there's like a dirt area in the trees okay so it's way past that okay that uh, pole so okay the best way i know to see you see those pines in the background mm -hmm. so it's uh just in front of not the tallest one on the that goes out of the screen on the right but it's just in front of the one on the left of that Maybe, oh, okay. maybe 30, 45 feet in front okay. of that. So I'm trying to think of what I would throw. Um, you said it's 333. Yeah, 333. I would probably look at it two different ways. And if I was practicing, I would try two different things. If there's a line that's a spike hyzer, I might try to just throw something that's like overstable on a spike hyzer way out to the right. Mm -hmm. and let it come in it's high speed or i may go uh like a p walk or something like that on an ante line like a flat shot out to the left and just let mm -hmm. it drift to the right all the way over uh, excuse me all the way over those trees just try to like i call it a helicopter shot kind of throw something that's almost like nose up and let it kind of like just drift to the right and fall. Stall. Down. Yeah, stall yeah. out and fall. Yeah, okay. It's like a, yeah, like a stalled Annie. Okay, I like that play. That honestly sounds like... It sounds like it'd be perfect for that hole. Like you could you could obviously do something that's just going to get up and turn, turn, turn. But I feel like mm -hmm. it'd be hard to get all, to, all the way to the end and then turn. So what you're talking about is probably a little bit better for that hole. Yeah. I and personally with it being downhill, it would help. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so, if you're not as familiar with me of this as this course, like uh, that lake reservoir, whatever's on uh, there, you know what I'm talking about there. Yeah, it's on the far it's, side over. Yeah, it's so it's on the right side there. So I almost feel like you're always going to have like a a bit of a uh, almost a headwind like right to left kind of wind there for that one. You know what yeah. I mean? Because of the wind coming off the water up there. Yeah. I forgot about that, uh, that play in that direction. Cause is, does the next hole start playing back? Yes. Okay. I it remember does. that one. Yeah. I, I don't know. I would have to see what the wind is doing on that day. Cause sometimes if it's a headwind then a P walk might not be the best shot, but mm -hmm. cause it might flip it too much. But if it's a right to left, it wouldn't hurt it that much. Uh, True. It might, knock, it might just drop it, but outside that, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. So I, I think this hole, uh, just from the hole itself, not necessarily comparing it to the rest of the course or anything like that. I, I, I love the hole. It is indeed a lefty hole. You know, you're going to see this trend with me like in the lefty holes. Uh, but honestly, the funny thing is, I, 
I honestly prefer holes that go to the left sometimes because I love challenging myself with that turnover shot. Well, I would say in full honesty, it's probably a shot you've had to throw more than you've had to throw hyzers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Playing courses that are mostly either straight or has some sort of righty <laughs> dominance to it. <laughs> yeah. You're throwing more uh, shots that go left than you are shots that go uh, right. Yeah. Let's see. Jeffrey says, I'm going to go first run Cosmic Pekka so I can practice my putt because I won't <laughs> be parked. I feel that. I don't. I actually don't remember. Uh, that Pekka Pekka that I did throw on that hole that day, I can confirm 100% that that one is now way too flippy for that hole. So I feel yeah, like that feel maybe. That's why I was confused. I thought it went to the left whenever I saw it in your hand. Yeah. I asked. <laughs> no, that, so that, that leads me to, but I'm thinking, you know how we were talking about the Pekka Pekka and the other holes. I, I do believe that's what I was throwing on hole four now. And oh. I think that it's probably, uh, why I went with that one. Cause it probably had a little bit more stability. Okay. So, let's see, we've got this up here. That go away. Um, it probably had more stability then, so I could trust it to flip up, but still get that at the end. And I probably did not make the putt. That would be my guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. If we're making guesses. <laughs> if we're making guesses. Well, odds, odds are pointing towards me not making that. Uh, let's see. Mother, what? Master of all. <laughs> <laughs> he just got to change, He's got it to to change his name. Mother of Disco. <laughs> Master of Disc Golf says, Elaine King Photon. Yeah, I used to throw a lot of photons. I, I threw like the Fission Photons, and uh, I do not anymore, being on the RPM team. Let's I'm see. The first run Photons were outstanding. Not, the Elaine ones were uh, pretty good, but they didn't get as much flip. You know, my game, I rely heavily on stuff that flips up to get that pushing glide, even if it is an overstable disc, you know. And uh, those were great for that kind of situation. Oh, okay. But I think general consensus, hole six, for me, definitely a thumbs up. It's a good hole. It, it's a cool hole. It's, it's got a different shot that you don't see on the yeah. course anywhere else and you don't see that shot super often right and it allows you to think a little different like i was talking about you can try some different shots that you're not going to throw on other holes mm -hmm. and so one thing cool. we didn't really touch on was the all the stuff on the right side there if you come up short you are can be in some really tricky situations there yeah all those trees yeah and stuff i remember playing there very early <laughs> Uh, when I had started playing disc golf, and I think I had to throw a shot out of there one time. It was just weird. I think I might have been under one of those trees mm -hmm. or something. Like it was just a weird shot. Like I had to step out and throw a forehand or something. Yeah, there's like cedars and pines that they don't necessarily limb up to where you can get under them. So there's really you can. It's really tricky if you don't push all the way down there. Almost like a tree that was on Frank uh, hole four, four. or five. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yep. Which has since been limbed up a little bit. It used to go yeah. all the way to the ground. I don't know if you remember oh. that. Oh, I do. I played <laughs> a tournament a there and was through, through what I thought was the perfect shot until I looked for my disc and had to crawl on my belly to get under there to throw a shot. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Jonathan Pickle who climbed that tree for us during one of our rounds one time to get a disc out. <laughs> I'm pretty, that, he was walking around. Guy, I don't, yeah, he's... He's such a solid dude. But if you don't have anything else about hole six, then I guess we'll go on to hole number seven.